Hello, this is Sandat here, and welcome back to another Flash Roulette review. Like before, with my other DC Comics Unlimited and Batman Unlimited reviews, we're going to be taking a look at these figures pretty quickly. That is because they have been out for a bit, but I finally have them. It took me a while to gather them all up between Big Bad Toy Store, comic stores, and others. So, I shall mention this for this video. There's the packaging. I like the packaging. It's the Batman Legacy packaging with other characters, including a lot of Batman. So, there you go. There's the packaging segment. Let's take a look at the figures. We shall start with Injustice Batman. This is Batman from Injustice Gods Among Us, the recently released video game that I cannot play yet because I don't own a system with the game on it. Working on that. Anyways, this is a brand spanking new figure. Like, there is nothing on here that has existed on another DC Universe Classics or any action figure ever. This is brand new. Everything head to toe is new. You have a new head. It represents, I think it represents the game very well from what I've seen from trailers and such. I actually played the game. But I'm really impressed, actually, overall. This figure didn't look so good from prototype pictures. His arms did look skinny. They are skinny. But when you get him behind the cape, it doesn't really bother me as much. But overall, like, really nice head sculpt. Um, the chin strap's still weird. Um, anytime you put a chin strap, it's weird. But he does have this nice, like, he does have this nice head movement where he does look down. Um, he doesn't look up, um, unfortunately. But he has a cape, which is a new cape. So the cape's there. Um, you can see his, you know, everything's molded on the back there. Um, painted in, too. So, anyways, you do have, um, his shoulders are an interesting thing because they do slide into the cape by the nature of the design. But they don't get restricted, which is really cool. He doesn't have a bicep swivel. Seems to be a common issue lately, hasn't it? But he does have an elbow, but he see, he has a rotation at the elbow. That's where it's all solved. He's got a rotation at the wrist, and he does have a bending wrist. Um, he does have the ab waist joint. He actually, I think he has the same articulation as Batgirl. That's weird. Um, legs move, this part moves, knees bend, and the knee rotates as well, along with a pivot. Now, the knee bend, again, is not very strong. But overall, you can get him some cool poses. Now, it's not going to be some crazy, like, fighter um, fighter game Mortal Kombat type moves. Because, well, he's a Mattel figure, what do you expect? Um, though DC Direct's uh, three and three-quarter inch uh, Injustice line does not have a Batman in it yet, which surprises me. But, overall, is the only figure interpretation of Injustice Gods Among Us Batman. I'd say it's pretty good. Moving on. You may notice that these figures have the complete opposite of lead-lined feet. So here's Wonder Woman. New 52 Wonder Woman, but the only Wonder Woman I have in this scale, if you don't count Star Sapphire Wonder Woman, because I'm not. Here she is. Now this is the figure I've been looking forward to because I don't have a Wonder Woman yet. The Wave 4 Wonder Woman goes for, like, too much money on eBay. Like, a lot that I don't want to really spend, um, or I could spend on other things. But this one is really nice overall. You have a new head sculpt as far as I can tell. Again, don't have Wonder Woman. But all the details are there. The silver's painted in. Um, the stars are painted in. Her hair has got the blue with the black in it, which is really nice. Um, this piece is new. Her whole uh, costume piece is new. She's got the armband. It's painted on. Don't mind that. Um, and does save money. They did paint her fingernails, which I thought was a nice touch. Didn't give her earrings, though. Um, she does have the bracelets. She does have the lasso of truth. She has the stars and stripes. She's got her boots, which are new, as far as I can tell. And she's got her... That's weird. Um, she's got her sword. A little dagger that she's had um, since... Justice League number three when she first appeared in the timeline and all that. But they gave her a belt loop in the back, just like the DC Direct one didn't do this, um, which I thought was kind of weird. It just looks weird. Um, so we're just going to look at her from the front. Articulation wise, she's got neck, she's got shoulders, she's got biceps, she's got elbows, she's got wrists, she's got that waist joint that uh, 
the ab waist joint that uh, Batgirl has. Outward leg movement, forward leg, no back leg movement. Rotations, elbow, or knees, and foot. Yeah, biceps will. <laughs> so yeah, really nice overall. So that's DC Comics Unlimited Wave 2. Smaller wave than the previous wave, but really solid one. Injustice Batman look, didn't look so great in prototype pictures, but looks really nice in hand. Um, and I was really surprised with all the new detail and paint. Wonder Woman is exactly what I expected. It's a great figure of Wonder Woman, even if her characterization in the New 52 isn't something I like as much. You just heard Gravity Strike over there. Anyways, Wonder Woman is really nice, and I'm glad to have a Wonder Woman, and I want to get classic Wonder Woman, but this one was going to do for a while, because um, she is nice. Now, these figures aren't as easy to find as Wave 1 of DC Comics Unlimited, mostly due to the fact that they just were released, but I have seen them at places such as uh, the local comic book shops, uh, I, think I've, I think people have spotted them at Target, I've seen them at places like Six Flags Over Texas, and their Justice League shop had them. So, they are around, and of course, BigBadToyStore.com has them, um, for really reasonable prices, too. So, that is pretty much it. A really solid wave. So be sure to check out HeroTaku.com for comic book news and more. And be sure to stay tuned, as I do have more videos coming up of the DC Unlimited and Batman Unlimited lines. And to this out saying... Goodbye. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Can't play the game yet. Well, I'm liking the game more and more every time I see a falling Wonder Woman.